All right, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a video on what we got up here, Remix Auth. Remix Auth is a package that is available to you for those who remember back in the Express days and trying to do authentication. I remember Passport JS. This is very similar to Passport JS, but it is an outlying framework on how to manage um, sessions, manage cookies, manage all authentication, everything, but then there's different strategies that you can apply. Um, there, it looks like there's a separate community for discussion around strategies, and some folks have done some interesting ones already. Um, but the default one that is discussed here in this project by, I'm not, by Sergio, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his last name, apologies in advance, is uh, using just this form strategy. Let me scroll down to it here. Um, after this, he says he used use the form strategy. There's a separate link to the form strategy here. And it kind of at a high level lays out how to use it. Um, like a lot of my other videos, the best way for me to understand things are to actually do it. Um, and so what I have here is a simple application. Let me move this to the side a bit. A simple application utilizing a form strategy that takes an email and a password. And for this example, I've kind of hard coded the login, but it takes the email and a password and then you can sign in. I also track for errors and return some errors. I'll kind of show how that works. Um, and then when you actually do log in successfully, it routes you and sends you to the right page. I am tracking errors for you so I can show you how errors are done and I'm also tracking the information that's being stored in the session. We'll show that in the code. And then also when I log out, we also um, have code in that keeps it. I hate how Edge does this toolbar. It's hard to move it over. Um, how it keeps us from going to the protected routes. So I can't get to my protected routes because I don't have a session. So this is, I'm just gonna kind of walk through the code. And as I said, I don't really like typing things up. I think uh, since I will give you all the source code, it's just the source of the videos kind of walk you through how we got to the end. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's wrap, I guess I'm wrapping up my intro. Oh, a couple of things to say, I've been chosen as a speaker for, at React Conference. So hopefully I'll get to meet a bunch of you folks there. Um, also, please make sure you like and subscribe. There will probably be a follow-up video to this since I'm not really using any backend um, to authenticate my user where I probably will integrate something like Firebase. I think I've already done Superbase, so I think I'll do Firebase in the next one. All right, so let's kind of shrink my head and get to the code. So I'll move myself down here. No, actually, let's go over here to this side today because there's nothing really happening there. We kind of start with how we get this set up. So if we go over here to the source, um, Obvious, we need to install the Remix Auth package and the Remix Auth form package. And once that's done, um, let's start with the, so let's open up the side here and see what we have. So of course we have our index route and we have our login route, and then we have our separate services that manage everything. So let's kind of start with um, what we have. Let me shrink this over to the side a bit. Okay, let's kind of start at the top. Excuse me. Oh, let's start at the top. Um, so how do we end up on the login page? So if you first look at our index route, what you'll see here is right at the top, when we do our loader, which, which will get called as the page is first loaded, we're using our authenticator and we're checking to see is the, do I have an, sorry, do I have an authenticated session? If I don't have an authenticated session, then it will redirect. This piece of code here, as I commented, you could add to pretty much all of your pages to check um, as you attempt to enter the page, whether or not there's an authenticated user or an existing session and then redirect um, to the login page. So that's what's happening here on my index page. Um, if there is an authenticated session, then we just kind of render the page. And all I do here is I am getting, let's see what's happening here. In my loader data, this, this, this is authenticated will return my session information. And in my session information, you see it'll come back in my loader data. 
And then as part of my loader data, I have um, my session information, which is a name and a token. And so I'm rendering that information here when logged in. All right. So the important part that you want to remember here is that in your loader for the page, you want to check for a session. And if there is a valid session, that's what gets returned from is authenticated. And in my example, all I have in it is a name and a token. And so that's what's getting rendered here. Um, and then also here I have my logout function, the authenticator uh, that we're using has a logout function that um, will kind of clean up the session, remove all that stuff for you, and then um, you can tell it where you want to redirect to. So when I do my form submit here for my button for logout, it calls my authenticator logout and will log me out of the application. So that's what we got going on on our index page. Now in our login page, We have some interesting stuff going on too. We, let's go up to the top. We'll skip the action, but what we do here in a couple of things, inside of the loader function, we get the session. And from the session, there's an error key, which will let us know if there's any errors that happened in attempting to log in. We pull that and we return that as loader data. So that's what we have here, this loaded data. If I got an error, it will come back to loaded data. And so through the loaded data, well, loader data, um, down here in the bottom, you can see I check if I have an error object. And if I have an error object, I render the error. And so that's what happens on page load. And then like most remix pages, you have your loaders and you have your actions. And on my action is actually where I do my authentication. Since we're using this form strategy, what the form strategy does, it allows you um, it passed in the whole request object. Then from you'll see from the request object, I can get the form. But basically, the form gets passed into the object. I use the information from the form to attempt to authenticate you. On success, I go back to my index page. On failure, I just come back to my login page. So that's why here on my loader function, on failure, I can look at the session and I can grab any errors that happened in attempted login, which was a little tricky for me to find out because it wasn't really clear from the documentation that that's how you get errors. Um, I was expecting, says it, since it says throw on error, and I had set that to true, I was assuming that some exception would get thrown, and I would have to kind of catch the error and return it myself. But um, I spent a while trying to figure that out. That is not what it does. Or if it does do that, someone can tell me the appropriate way to do it, because I could not find it in the documentation. Um, so basically what I'm doing is I'm pulling my error off this session key. All right. So... We've covered, this is what I love about Remix, it's real simple. There's two things, there's what's happening when you load and what's happening on the action. So on the action, we attempt to log in and on the load, we basically pull any errors off the session. Um, so that's our two pages. Now let's kind of go to how we get everything all set up. So let's go here to this auth server TS, which is where I have everything set up. Actually, let's go up a little bit higher. Let's go back, close some of this. What was this? Let's just look at my session. This was copied directly from uh, the documentation. Where's my mouse? Oh, here we go. This was copied directly from the documentation to kind of set up my initial server session, my session server. Um, as you can see from the documentation, these couple of these variables you can change to reset to whatever you want to do. Um, but the important thing here is I'm defining my model um, or my type that's going to be used as part of this strategy. So you can see I have my user, my user has a name and a token. Excuse me. And so now if I go to my auth server, we create a new authenticator and my authenticator can return a user, can return an error. Well, I actually it can't return an error, um, but it can return a user or, or a null object. Um, we pass in my session storage object that I got from when I set up my server session. And then I define a couple of keys here for the session key and for the uh, session error key. And remember, I said the session error key is how I'm getting my errors. All right. I, so now I've created my authenticator and then I tell the authenticator what strategy to use. I'm using my form strategy, which remember we installed the package here. Uh, this and then the form uh, the form strategy gets passed in this request object and from the request object I'm kind of pulling off the form and then on the form I'm taking the email and the password that I get passed in. 
I do some basic validation here. Um, this could be done an assortment of ways that I'm just trying to keep it simple. I'm checking that I have an email and my email has a length. And the important thing is that um, it will ignore all, according to the documentation I read, it will ignore all the errors that you throw except for an authentication error. I'm uh, sorry, auth authorization error. And apparently this authorization error information is what gets set in this session error key. So as you'll see when I run through examples, I'm throwing these errors and the values, the string values that I'm passing in show up in the um, show up in this session error key. So this is just basic authentication and throwing errors if there's problems. Like I said, you know, and maybe in a later example, I'll use Firebase or something else. But for now, I'm just checking if the email is equal to Aaron at mail.com and I have a password with the name password. Then I assume I have a valid user. I set my user object to the name. I create some random token and then I return that because remember this thing is uh, looking for a promise. I think it's looking for a promise. So I just kind of resolve this promise, send it back my user object and I'm done. Because remember the errors are being handled through by throwing this authorization error. Um, and then if any other, if so, let's see. So if, if it's not Aaron at mail.com and, and the password doesn't equal password, then I just throw an error saying authorization error bad credentials, meaning I can't find that user. And then that's basically it. Um, it's, it's pretty neat. So, you know, really all you're doing is the validation that you want to do and then logging in the user and returning whatever returning whatever you want to be set in the session here. And then the rest is magically done for you. Because as I said, if we go back to our login page, our pages are protected. Not here, my login. Our index page, our pages are protected by using this authenticator object that I've already set up. No, here. By using this authenticator object that I've already set up to see if the user's authenticated or not. Um, the authenticator gives me a logout function. And then if I go back here, my authenticator gives me my authenticate function. And so this is a really sweet package that kind of frees you up from a lot of the magic and a lot of the code you were writing yourself before to manage authentication. And they've wrapped it all up in this nice little package. You know, one of the first videos I did on uh, Remix was doing authentication with Superbase. And I had to dig through a bunch of stuff to figure out how to get it to work. And I got it to work, but it is just way simpler to use this package. This is awesome work that was done by Sergio. Um, I highly recommend you check this out yourself and see if it's something that will make your authentication um, code much cleaner. But it definitely, to me, makes this process way easier, awesome to integrate. And it's just another reason why I think that uh, Remix is a pretty awesome framework. So now let's actually wrap this up and take one last look at the application and kind of see all the stuff that I'm talking about. So once again, I'm here on my login page. I'm going to put some bad email and bad password in. I hit my sign in and you can see here, this is it kind of rent. This is my error object that I'm getting back with my bad credentials. And so we're on my login page. And so it's hitting my loader function. It's finding I have an error. It's returning the JSON object. That's coming here in my loader data. That's this console log loader data. Uh, loader data is what you're seeing right here as this page is getting rendered. And then there's my error object and you can see I printed out bad credentials. And then if I change this to the right email, a r o n at mail.com, but still with their incorrect password, once again, we're still getting bad credentials. Let's remove my password. We are getting the uh, bad credentials error, but this time it's being very, uh, being very specific about what the error message is because in my auth server, I am doing it right here. This is a string is a weird one. If I enter a number, um, that's interesting. If all password and password like this do, if type password does not equal string, that's odd. I would have expected to get the uh, password does not equal string, but I got the bad credentials. It, oh, I, I suspect what's happening is that this Oh, I'm casting it to a string here. So that's what we're getting. Um, but the point is you're getting your error messages. And then if I finally put the correct one in, P password, and then do a sign in, I'm authenticated. Let's go to my index page and see what's happening here. 
my index page, you can see that the loader function was successful, so it did not redirect. I returned the information that came back. The information comes back as my session. Information of my session, my session information is this right here, this error at mail with this token that I returned. And I am rendering my name right there as part of the data. Let's, let's just to show that it's all really coming back. Name. And and then you can see there's my token. You can see if I refresh the page, it's still kind of working appropriately. Um, I believe, I don't know if I put the redirect in, but uh, slash. Um, it's redirecting me here. Interesting, it's redirecting me here to my login page. I probably can put the auth check at the top of my login page and it should redirect me back here because I have a session. Um, now, if I, actually, let's see if that works. Let's go into my loader function. Um, where's my login page? And right here at the top, let's try this. Uh, is is authenticated? If so, hmm. Let's see what happens. So now here, I'm just doing this on the fly, which I probably shouldn't be doing because I don't want to return here. All right, now let's see what happens. If I come up here and I try to go to Yeah, so as you saw there, now when I'm trying to go to login, it redirects me back to my um, success page because it knows that I actually have a session. So that it, because before I was able to go to my login page, even though it was actually logged in. So now I've kind of cleaned that up. So now when I log out, it takes you back to my login page. If I try to go to index from my login page, it's not letting me go, it's redirecting me back here. And then once again, we can log in, error at mail, and then password is password. Back to my page. Let's try to go back to login. And it says, no, you have a session and it brings you back here. So that's kind of what I wanted to cover. Once again, please check out kind of the source of my material, which is the there we go, which is this um, Remix auth package. It's pretty awesome. And then I, as I said, I'm using the form, form strategy. In my next video, what I'll do is here where this auth server is, and right now I'm checking my auth, I'll probably kind of replace this with some Firebase code to kind of show you how you can use a Firebase, um, how you can authenticate with Firebase using this Remix auth package. And um, like I said, I'll post all the code and link with the video. Please make sure you like, subscribe if you felt this help, found this helpful. If you have any questions, please make sure you leave them in the context. Sorry, leave them in the uh, comment section of the video and I'll try my best to respond to them. Or you can kind of open issues on the uh, GitHub repo that I will create. Thanks a lot. And hopefully I will see you at the Remix conference. Please come up, introduce yourself and uh, take care. Bye now.